For centuries, people of different cultures and beliefs have sought to explain the origin of the world and the universe. Every religion and civilization has its own myths and legends about how the world and humanity came to be. This project continues the theme of ancient civilizations, and again turns to the culture of the ancients. Egypt, Mesopotamia, Greece, Rome, China, India. We invite you to continue your fascinating journey along the river of time into the world of mythology and religion, to see how people sought to answer eternal questions about the origin of the universe and humanity, to better understand the diversity of cultures and beliefs of our world. The first stop will be the Bible. The biblical account of the creation of the world by one God is one of the central tenets of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. The account of creation occupies the first chapter of the book of Genesis and describes the process of creation in the form of a working week. On the first day, God created the heavens, the earth, and the light, and separated the light from the darkness. On the second day, he made a firmament in the midst of the waters, and separated the waters above the firmament from the waters under the firmament, and called the firmament heaven. On the third, the land, the seas, and the plants. On the fourth, the lights in the firmament of the heavens. On the fifth, fish, reptiles, and birds. On the sixth, the beasts of the earth, the cattle, the creeping things of the earth, and man. The Creator, rested on the seventh day from all his works which he had done. God created man in his own image and likeness, giving him power over all of his creatures. In Egyptian mythology, there was no uniform idea of the creation of the world. In one of the myths, the world was created out of chaos and emptiness, the boundless ocean of none. Within it, the first firmament was created, which rose above the ocean. Then came the sun god Ra. But Ra, the supreme ancient Egyptian deity, himself acts as a demiurge god who created the world, including the people born of his tears. In Memphis, the creator god was Ptah, who created the world by word and thought. How can we not remember the Bible? In the beginning was the word. In one of the myths, the world was created by the goddess of the sky, Nut, and the god of the earth, Jeb. Through their embrace and love, the world was created. They were separated by the god of the air, Shu. All the myths of ancient Egypt reflect the principles of balance and harmony, which are the basis of all things. According to Mesopotamian mythology, the world was created by the god Marduk, who was the main god in the Babylonian pantheon. According to this myth, at the beginning of time, there was chaos and disorder, which was symbolized by the dragon Tiamat. Marduk engaged in battle with the dragon and defeated Tiamat. He cut it into two pieces and made the heavens and the earth out of them. He also created humanity from the blood of Tiamat to serve the gods and provide them with worship. According to the Babylonians, the earth is a mountain, the sea is round, and the sky is an inverted bowl. Thus, according to Mesopotamian mythology, the world was created by Marduk's victory over chaos and destruction, and humanity was created to serve the gods and maintain order in the world. The ancient Greeks believed that the world was created from chaos the abyss and emptiness. From chaos were born the first deities, Gaia, Earth, Tartarus, Abyss, Eros, Love, and Nyx, Night. Gaia gave birth to Uranus, Sky, and Pontus, Sea, who became her partners. Uranus and Gaia became the parents of a variety of deities, including the Titans, powerful beings who became rulers of the world before the arrival of the Olympian gods. One of the Titans, Cronus, overthrew Uranus and became the ruler of the world, but his son Zeus was able to overthrow him and become the supreme ruler of Olympus. Thus, the world in ancient Greek mythology was created from chaos and the evolution of deities who fought for power and control of the world. The myths and legends of ancient Greece still inspire people and remain an important part of culture and art. The version of the ancient Greek poet Hesiod, called the Theogony, became among the Greeks and Romans, though not the only, but the most recognized story of the creation of the world. In the beginning, there was only chaos, an abyss in which absolute darkness reigned. But then the first gods appeared, Jupiter, Neptune, and Pluto, who took power. Jupiter is the god of the sky and lightning. He created the earth, the seas, and the heavens, dividing them among his brothers. Neptune became the god of the seas and waters, while Pluto became the god of the underworld and the dead. They created animals, plants, and humans. Animals became the shepherds of nature, plants became beauty and food, and humans became the executors of the will of the gods. The creation of the world, according to the mythology of ancient Rome, was an act of divine creation that resulted in an amazing and diverse world.
According to Chinese mythology, in the beginning there was chaos and darkness, out of this chaos, with the help of the forces of the yin and yang universe, an egg emerged, in which Pang was born, it came out of the egg and divided the energies, the light yang energy rose up and became the sky, and the yin dark energy descended and became the earth, Pang stood between them, his hands holding the sky and his feet resting on the ground, Pang grew, the sky became higher, the earth's crust thicker, this went on for 18,000 years, until the sky was so high and the earth so solid that they could no longer merge into one. After Pang's death, his body was transformed into stars, the sun, the moon, seas, mountains, rivers, and plants. In this way, he fulfilled his mission and reincarnated into the nature of the universe, so that in the future, the gods born in the universe would create humanity. In the ocean, which had no depth, no breadth, no surface, no bottom, floated a wonderful golden egg. The egg cracked, and the creator god Brahma emerged from it, who with the power of thought parted the halves of the egg thus heaven and earth appeared, and air appeared between them. In solitude, he did not feel joy and by the power of thought decided to create six sons, who became the progenitors of everything, gods, demons, people and animals. The descendants of the sons of Brahma created the moon and the stars, the night and the day. All the qualities that the living entities are now endowed with come from the thoughts of Brahma and remain unchanged as long as this world exists. All the living entities inhabiting the earth were created by the action of Brahma, who gave them all names and divided them into male and female. Brahma dwells in every being, for they have all arisen from him.